I will begin to just explain you the difference between the moire, then you will probably better understand the needle after that. Um, first of all, you have different kind of hair. You have moir that came from goat. You have uh, wool, some uh, some wool, some type of wool uh, can be suitable for rooting. Uh, it's not uh, often used, but it can be. Um, I can't tell you which one. Uh, naturally, I haven't uh, tried every one, uh, every uh, kind of wool, but it can be uh, something that you can use. Uh, you have alpaga hair. Alpaga, it's a, it's a small animal like a llama. It's smaller. Uh, if you don't know what it is, you can uh, easily Google it. You will know. Uh, alpaga, it's a, it's a nice uh, nice fiber, very uh, long, uh, thin and straight. Uh, very very nice for a lunago and. Uh, small newborn or premature heir and you have human heir too that uh, you can use to root uh, you can you can ro root with almost anything i know a lady who have rooted the head with uh, her uh, dog's heir uh, <laughs> I haven't seen the result, but it's something that is possible. If you want to try that, you can. Uh, there's no rules uh, in routing, so uh, have fun. <laughs> Just try some some things, and you will uh, you will learn a lot with that. Um, so um, beginning with the moir, you have um, three uh, three type of moire and three uh, size of moire. You have the uh, straight moire, you have a wavy, I have it just there, you have wavy, you see the, the little wave, and you have curly, you can have big curl like that usually you will have a small little curves like that and you have size i said three but uh, there are a lot of variation in those size uh, first you have kid moir kid moir is the softest and the thinnest it's nice for a very uh, small newborn because it's really really thin like newborn newborn air um usually it is it came often more curly than that this one is particularly uh, beautiful because it's is it has a slight wave uh Often kid moir uh, look more like that. This one, uh, kid moir came from the first or second clip of the goat, the baby goat. Um, so usually it's it's shorter than yearling or adult uh, moir, uh, shorter in length and often more curly, but. Uh, it vary from uh, a supplier to another. To uh, it's, uh, there, there's a lot of difference between the same kind of moir. Uh, this one came from. I will give her a shout out because her moir is fabulous. It's golden fleece moir. I really, really enjoy her moir. Uh, after the kid, you have the yearling moir. This one is an example. Uh, it's a curly yearling. Yearling is a young goat, uh, not adult yet, but that has already have uh, one or two clip. Uh, so the hair can be a bit longer, and often it's a bit 
more coarse than uh, the kid. Uh, it's the two go more hair. I have another one here, maybe more um, straight, a little bit wavy. So the hair is a bit bigger, a bit longer, a bit bigger than a uh, kid wear. A lot more easy to root. This one, I don't remember the name. Um, there are a lot of difference between a yearling than other. Some yearling look like kid, some yearling look like adult. Uh, there are some that are straight, uh, really curly, just wavy. Uh, there's a lot of kind of difference. Uh, between a, uh, a brand than another. I suggest uh, for your first time routing that you go with a yearling and uh, that you buy one or two, maybe three different brand. Um, even in the same brand there are some difference sometimes but try two, three different brands just to uh, to try and see which one you will like the most because they wrote differently, they give different result. Um, so it's really a, a personal choice, a preference. Uh, some are really, really expensive. Some are really cheap. Um, uh, try to go with the middle uh, in that. Uh, it's not necessarily worth it to pay a lot for a moire. Uh, I, but going with the cheapest option is not really a good idea either because you will have trouble to root it, it will break, it will get fuzzy. Uh, you will have trouble to see the, the cut end. I will show you that in the, the next part. Uh, so avoid the really cheap one. You can find on eBay or uh, Etsy or anywhere. You can find cheap moire. Try to avoid this. Uh, I know Ruby Red is a well-known brand, but it's cheap and it's not a uh, gift. Not, does not give the best result. Um, I will not tell you all the brand and where to find them. You will have to do a little research yourself because there are there's a lot of out there. Some uh, are not doing business anymore. Some I uh, just offer moir uh, from time to time, it's not regular, so uh, it's really up to you to search uh, where you can find this. Uh, on Etsy there are some Russian moir that is beautiful, very long to get uh, to you, but uh, it's worth it. It's not expensive and it's a, it's beautiful, but um, a little bit coarse maybe more like a fine adult than a yearling but can be great for a bigger baby and finally you have the adult adult moire adult is uh, very long can have it very long uh, it's not fine like a yearling or kid it's more coarse uh, it's not really suitable for a young for a newborn uh, better to use for a toddler or, or a bigger baby um, but it, it's the easiest to root because you see exactly each air even if it's blonde you see each air um, that's another thing uh, try to choose a darker color to begin with because if you choose a pale blonde uh, you will not like rooting at all. <laughs> it's very difficult to see what you are doing with blonde moir. So try to go with a darker color. Uh, alpaga, like I told you. This this is some alpaga, a beautiful alpaga. They are not always so soft and silky and beautiful. Uh, 
Uh, this one is uh, Zerga, Zerga Studio uh, on Etsy. It came uh, from Poland. Look at this beautiful thing. Just touch it is, is an experience in itself. <laughs> uh, some alpaga is uh, more coarse. Uh, then other uh, more short is it really depends of, on the brand. This one is fabulous. Uh, it's straight, but it's really, really, really fine, and it's it may be hard to root with that if you're not used to rooting yet. Um, it's perfect for a newborn a preemie, it's a very small baby. It's perfect for doing a Lunago or a more fine uh, airline. Uh, it lay flat, so it's great for that, but it's a bit hard to uh, to root. It's um, often uh, uh, full of static, so it can be a bit harder. But it gives really nice result maybe when you are more experienced you can try it and see by yourself if you like this or not some people swear just by this and some other dislike it very much i never root a full head with alpaga i want i plan to with the, my brown one uh, i usually just use it for the finer line uh, i'm not a fan but this one is so beautiful, I have to try it. Uh, and then finally you have a uh, human ear. This one you see here, it's mine, my own uh, ear that I just cut. Um, you can, you can buy, you can buy human ear, um, some specialized uh, website maybe or um, hairdresser that may work uh, to ask uh, you can buy human extension human uh, air uh, wig uh, you can look uh, on amazon I'm sure you can find it uh, it's often really expensive uh, often more expensive than more and it's not suitable to root a newborn with this. Uh, it's great for a toddler or older baby toddler and uh, children uh, reborn. It's great for that. It roots fast because it's big. The the air is almost the double of uh, adult uh, moir. Uh, it's sure it depends on uh, where it came. Uh, mine are uh, pretty fine. I have fine air. Uh, if it's children air, it will be finer. But still, human air, it's still bigger than uh, adult moir. So you have to uh, to think about it without you before using it. It's hard to root, but it's easy to see what you are doing. But um, to get it to lay flat, you have to use a. a a long, uh, more long piece, and you have this uh, afro air for neck baby, really, really, really curl. Um, you can have a uh, synthetic. You can have a. Uh, you can buy extension like that. That is human air. Um, it's hard to root when you're not used to this. You have to use your flat iron. <laughs> Give this this look. So uh, you can use it for uh, for newborn, but uh, often more for uh, older babies. It's really a coarse air. So that's for the air. You have also synthetic air that you can you can buy. Uh, you can use a wig uh, with synthetic air, cut the air and use them. But synthetic will not give you the the, the same feeling. The the real the realism will not be there. And 
Finally, I tried not to make a too long video, but it's not easy. Always have a lot of thing to say. The needles. Um, it's maybe the the most difficult part to get when you be the, you you are a beginner. Uh, it took me uh, a while to uh, to understand the difference between all those needles. First of all, you have rooting needle, filting needle. Just understand that they are basically the same thing. You can uh, use them to felt. You can use felting needle to root. The difference often is that felting needles are bigger than rooting needles. But they are made uh, essentially, essentially the same. You also have cut needle and uncut needle. This is a cut needle. This one is a big one, it's a 30 AG. Uh, this one will, will be used with a tool, uh, often like a big pen or a mushroom wooden tool that you just plug the, the end in the tool and use it like that. Um, I never tried them, this one was given to me to try but I don't have the tool to use it, so I will wait a little bit. I never use them, I don't I don't know if I will like it, them or not. Uh, that's a matter of preference, really. Uh, then you have the uncut needle. That's a complete uncut needle. So if you can see the part that that is cut, it's about there. Uh, you can buy uncut needle and cut them yourself. I know there's some place that sell a uh, tool for cutting them. I, um, I think Bountiful Baby have this tool. Not sure if they have it anymore. Um, <coughs> I often, I have begun to uh, to buy those because they are more easy to find and uh, more affordable uh, than those uh, pre-cut. And I find out that they are they, they are uh, very easy to use too. So uh, you can use them like that. You can uh, make yourself a tool with polymer clay, or and you have this little tool that came that you can just put the needle in it and use the tool. And you have a rubber coat needle like that that you use uh, just with your hand no tool uh, they are great they works great they are easy to handle uh, I like them very much I like them uh, uh, because they are sturdy uh, they are strong they don't, do not break easily some you will find that some needle break more easily than others depending where you find, find them uh, where you by them you will find that some brand break more easily than other uh, it's often not a, a price uh, point it will just just depend of where they came from uh, you can uh, find them on Etsy you can find them uh, Mark Ferson, Bountiful Baby everywhere that they sell uh, supplies, rebounding supplies, supplies, often they have those needles. Uh, those coated ones are evenly illusion. McPherson sell them. They are a bit more expensive, but they last long. Uh, if I can do, uh, I can use two, three needles for a head with those, those ones. And I can do two, three head with one needle of those just to give you an idea that even if they are more more expensive they, they are worth it so for the different size of the needle needle came with a number you will see a number 
with edgy try to to show you you have a number here with a G you will see um, 38, 40, 43, 42 the smaller the number the bigger the needle that's the, the thing you have to remember so a 40 G is uh, bigger than a 43 G uh, 38 G is bigger than a 43 uh, that go up to uh, 46 I think 46 is the smallest needle you will find uh, hard to find and hard to use because if they break easily they are really thin uh, they work great for uh, alpaga and uh, kid ear too um, the size that I recommend for almost every type of wear and for beginner is 42G. 40 it's okay uh, if you have uh, more coarse, uh, more air, but 42 will work uh, with adult more air depending of the size of the more The more is really coarse that may not uh, may be uh, better with a 40. But uh, for uh, kids and yearling, 42 uh, will work well. So that's for the size. Um, for the number of bark, I have made a drawing because my camera can't pick uh, small enough. I can't zoom small enough. So I make a little uh, drawing to show you. Will de zoom a bit a bit. Okay, so the part that go uh, that grab the moire, it's called a barb or a notch. Uh, it's an indent that capture the the moire, the strand, and push it through the vinyl. Um, you will see the uh, next part I will show you exactly what I mean with that. Uh, for now I just want you to understand the different uh, type of needle. You have a um, different type of uh, notch of or barb if you prefer. This one with three barb each side. A needle uh, is uh, it's made of a triangle. Look about that <laughs> on the top. Uh, it's a kind of a triangular uh, form, okay? So you have three sides. On each side, you have a barb or a notch. This is called a crown needle. Okay? You can have uh, the the barb uh, not aligné uh, vis-à-vis in front of each other. You can have them sprayed more on each side. Uh, can be called crown too, or can be crawl, uh, called uh, notched. Can be called a spiral needle um, it's really hard to for me to find the correct information and the correct name it seems to change from different people and website they seem to have different definition of the term um, so it's not easy to to catch uh, it's like I said it took me some time to be able to differentiate different needle uh, you you have th this one here sometimes they call this the you find them on spiral needle not just uh, needle the the way the needle it's is uh, is made it's like it's twisted a little bit on itself uh, it's really nice needle to to have I like them uh, art to find though. Uh, 
uh, those are the most popular. You can have three barb, you can have six barb, you can have nine barb. Um, it, it just here you have three barb. If you add one more barb by side, you have six barb. To have three barb by side, you have nine. Um, nine barbs. Uh, those are called more regular needle. Uh, you don't like them. For routing is not the best. Uh, you don't want to catch too much air so you better go with three barb at the most. Um, preferably one barb. Uh, one barb is a bit difficult to use at first because you always have to search where your barb is on your needle because you only have it on one side you don't have three barb you just have one on one side so you have to keep track on the positioning of your needle but it's really great to get to be able to grab only one or two uh, air at a time um, then you have fork needle Fork needle, they are special because where they grab the moire is on top of the needle. They don't have a point. They have a notch here, um, a slit to grab the air. It's a it's a big drawing air. It's really small in real life. You barely can see the slit. Where is it? Uh, it's hard to use them because you never know if it will grab the air or not. Uh, you have to uh, to be in the right position to be able to grab air. Uh, it grabs uh, only a few air at a time, but um, you you have to uh, to play with it a lot before being able to catch air at all time with them. Uh, they are nice for uh, grabbing air by the middle of the strand of moire. Uh, you will see all that in the second part. Uh, just to know, so you know, they exist. Uh, they may be hard to use at first. Uh, they are very strong and durable. They don't break easily. Uh, people. Some people love them, some people hate them. It's hard to find people in the middle, uh, seven, one or the, the other. So you may want to give it a try. If you, if you want, you can, uh, when choosing your needle, you can uh, grab uh, a few of them to try. Um, I have tried them, do not like them at all, so <laughs> I sold them. Uh, but it can be something that you will like a lot. Uh, so I suggest you really to go with one one or of those two to begin. Um, like I said, uh, it really depends on your moire. If you if you want to work with adult moire, uh, you may be better with a, a 40G. Uh, if you want to work with human air, uh, you may be find uh, 38 or even bigger regular needle may work better with human air. Uh, if you plan to work only with kid or alpaga you can easily go with a 43 or 46 uh, gauge. But if you just beginning you you buy a regular yarding uh, moire like uh, at Macpherson and uh, you just want to try routing or practice routing a 42 crown with three barbs it may be the best option for you to begin with and with the time you will you will buy some more to try and see what you like the most so that's all for today I think I have uh, said uh, all the all the things I wanted to to say. Uh, I'm not an expert routing. Uh, I do my best. Uh, I just want to present uh, some some of the tool and uh, moire that I use. Uh, 
Um, so you know uh, what I, I will speak about in my next part because if I go directly uh, at the routing video to show you how to route and uh, you don't know what type of moire I use, you don't understand what is a yearling moire and you absolutely don't know what uh, current, uh, 42G mean you will be lost a little bit <laughs> so I just want to, you to, uh, to be prepared to be able to begin routing with me in the next part I'm not sure it will, if it will be uh, next week I try to finish my head I need a head to show you how to route I have one that is almost done I uh, will probably have a bit of trouble routing it because it's a very hard vinyl I, I will see um, that may be next week, uh, maybe I will put two videos uh, next week I have uh, another tutorial that I was planning in French uh, I will try to do more English video I uh, really uh, I'm thankful for your, uh, your uh, kind words toward my uh, English speaking <laughs> and your passions um, I know I not really uh, I do not put a lot of English video because uh, honestly there's a lot of out there a lot of good English tutorial for reborning uh, but they are lacking in French there there is absolutely nothing in French uh, here and there some some uh, some tutorial in French but really not much so that's that's uh, why I uh, I am doing more tutorial in French than in English uh, just because there is a need for that uh, and I am not an uh, English speaker as you can probably guess so uh, that that's why that's the the reason I do not uh, put a lot of English videos and I it take too long to uh, just add subtitle. Uh, it's a lot of work doing subtitles. I have to translate all the things I said and write this and put this them uh, at the right moment. I don't know how to use. Uh, those tools to put subtitles I am not good with that so I prefer to just do a video uh, in English uh, right uh, it's, a, it's the easiest thing um, but I will try it's a promise I, I will try to uh, to put more video uh, maybe I, I will start uh, to uh, put uh, two videos a week uh, like one on Wednesday, one on Saturday so like, like that I will probably be able to put one in English and one in French in the same week uh, so uh, on that uh, I will um, wish you a nice day I hope you were all uh, doing well um, hopefully this uh, pandemic uh, situation will, uh, will end uh, soon uh, with the vaccination I hope it will help so uh, stay safe and um, don't forget to uh, to like the video and sus subscribe to my channel if you like this uh, you can also reach me on Facebook Messenger if you want to ask me some question uh, in the comments uh, below too you can I try to respond to everybody uh, you can see me uh, on Instagram too. I do not uh, put the links, I always forget. And I'm not even sure what the links are. <laughs> anyway, you can find me easily. Uh, it's Leabel Nursery or Leabel Reborns Nursery. Though it's not, uh, it's not too difficult to, to find me and join me. So I wish you a very nice day. See you soon.